everybody, Facebook, Matthew here from JC Aldi and Sons and I'm here today to show you the new E Berlingo van. walk around the van folks now I'm here to tell you some of the nitty gritty details so you're probably wondering well it's electric how far does it go so it has a range of 173 miles and that's WLTP and it has charging times of six hours for a wall box and for a fast charger you're talking probably 80% in 30 minutes okay folks now if you do want to charge it with a 3 pin plug, it is going to be 24 hours, but you're rarely going to charge it with a 3 pin plug. Okay folks, so <clears throat> as you can see this van looks amazing. This model here is a driver model, which is an option when you're going for an Eberlingo, but you also have the option of the Enterprise model. Enterprise comes with 3 seats, sliding door, air conditioning, rear sensors, touchscreen, tab radio, Bluetooth, you also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The upgrades you get then when you move to the driver is alloy wheels, gloss bars, coloured side uh, bumpers and coloured uh, rear bumper. You also get a rear camera. Now I'll go into that in a wee minute here. So we're going to fast forward and go jump inside. Hi, nice to have you here folks. So I want to take you through some of the interior features of the new Berlingo van. First thing I want to talk about is this new addition that you have here. This is a full steel bulkhead and it comes standard on all, um, all ICE and E models of the Berlingo van. <clears throat> Moving on, this is your main interface here folks. This is where all the business happens. So you have DAB radio, Bluetooth, you will have on driver models, you will have the sat nav. You'll also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And on the E van, you have these different uh, th these different little menus. So the first one there is flow. So you can see what's going on with the van, whether it's charging, uh, whether it is um, whether the charge is running low. It'll tell you as you can see. We we need a wee charge here which I'm going to go into in a minute. You can go into statistics, you can check and see what mile per kilowatt hour you're doing, which is your miles per gallon. Um, in old terms of fuel, kilowatt uh, mile per kilowatt hour is the new miles per gallon for electric vehicles. Then you can also go into charge and you can defer the charging time in here to a time that suits you best or to a time when the electric's a bit cheaper. Okay, folks. Then you have your radio. You will also have down here you have your air controls and then this is how do you drive it so i'm going to take you on a wee drive as well folks uh just not right now okay up on top here you have a rear view camera now this rear view camera when you're driving along normally this works as your rear view mirror when i put it in the reverse it changes to it changes to a top view full HD camera then from there I can also change it to the passenger side as you can see we're looking out the wing mirror there you are that's for blind spots folks and if we move it back then this is your rear view mirror and then your rear camera so I'm going to take you to a wee drive now folks jump on and we're in the driver's seat so I'm going to take you to drive now in the Eberlingo and show you how everything works. So first thing I'm doing is I'm switching on the ignition. And on an electric vehicle, when you turn the ignition, you're waiting for a chime and a ready symbol up on the dash. So there's that chime. And here is the ready symbol on the dash up here. So now we are good to drive. What we do is this is our gear toggle. We pull it straight down to D for drive with our foot in the brake. And now we are going to take off, folks. So here we go. There we are. 
So, as we're moving along here, folks, <clears throat> on these e Berlingos and electric vehicles, we actually have regenerative charging. And on these vehicles, there'll be a little B for brake mode. This is regenerative charging. So, when I am not accelerating, this vehicle is charging and it is dragging. So, if I press the B in, this car will come to a stop and it is charging the battery. Now, you have three modes on this Eberlingo. First mode is um, power, which is like your old, uh, like your your or your normal vehicles uh, sport mode. So power basically puts all the power, and if you need it for a situation, you wouldn't keep it in power all the time. Okay. Next one down then is normal. That's it'll be in normal most times, and then you have eco. Let's say you're running a bit low on charge, and. Uh, you need though that extra bit of juice. Eco kind of uh, reduces the power output um, so that you're reducing the the battery usage as, as such. So after this now folks I am going to show you charging and I'll meet you back at the dealership. So we're back at the dealership folks and I'm going to show you how to charge the e now. So all electric, uh, electric vehicles Type C to Type C charging cable. Uh, the big end goes into your vehicle. The small end goes into the charger. Okay. Now this is the case if you're using a um, wall box or something like that. So small end goes in to the wall box like so. We'll notice that there's another cover, I'll go into that in a moment. What we do then is we plug it straight in and you'll notice that there is a light coming on down here. Now, there are a couple of different lights here. The first one that I'm going to talk about is a blue light. That is for when you're deferring the charging. I talked about that earlier. The second one then is the flashing green light, which is happening right now. That means it is charging. Then you have the solid green light, which means your vehicle is charged. And then the one that we hope never comes up is the red square. That red light it means that there is a fault on the charger or on the cable or something like that. Okay, now it's as easy as that. This vehicle is going to be charged up now in about six hours time. Okay. And I'm going to go into the other type of charger here now. So, as you can see, this is now locked in. To get that out, all we do is lock the vehicle, unlock the vehicle, then this turns white, which means I can pull this out. Now, there is a second cover down here, and as you can see, it looks like a Type C with a wee bit added on to the end. What that is, folks, is a rapid charger. So, on some fuel stations and uh, in some cities, you will have a rapid charger. A rapid charger will charge this vehicle to 80% in 30 minutes. And it's very easy to use. It's the exact same system as I've just showed you. You literally plug one end, uh, sorry, one end will already be plugged in to the charger at that uh, fuel station. And then you will have the other end and you just plug it straight up. Okay, folks, so that's charging in a nutshell, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. Um, yeah, give us a wee call, S send us a Facebook message, we're more than welcome to answer any questions that you have. Um, if I haven't covered something on here, I'm sorry, just send us a message and uh, we can get over to it. Thank you.